Hi there, just a, a quick video today about how we find the uh, centre and radius of a circle with a given equation. It's all about completing the square really. Um, so I've got a circle equation that's been given here, x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 6y minus 15 is 0. I'm actually going to rewrite that, I'm going to write that in a slightly different order. So let's go with x squared and then the minus 2x and then I'm going to leave a gap and then we've got y squared plus the 6y, then we'll leave another gap, we've got the minus 15 there, and then leave a big gap, and we've got the equal 0 at the end of that. And now, as we think about completing the square, let's work out what we're going to put inside those gaps there. So, um, remember when we complete the square, we're going to take a half of our, our minus 2, uh, and that's going to go in there. Now, I've just added 1, so I'm going to subtract 1 so that I keep the, uh, the equation the same, still equal to 0. Um, half 6 would be 3, and if I square that I get 9, so I'm going to add in a 9 there. That completes the square of the y bit. We're going to take away the 9 as well, just to keep the equation balanced. And now let's think about what we can do with what we've got here. These three terms, there they are, they form the quadratic equation that is the square of x minus 1. Here we've got x minus 1 squared. The next three terms here, the y squared plus 6y plus 9, well that is what you get when you square y plus 3. Uh, remember this number here is half that coefficient of x, and this is half that coefficient of x there, a quick way of remembering how to factorise it. We've then got, we'll take these over to the other side, we've got a, a plus 15, plus 1, that's 16, plus 9, that's 25. And so there we have, this is the equation of the circle, that's the form we want it. So the centre of our circle is the point 1 minus 3, and the radius of the circle. Remember that the formula for our circle is uh, x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is r squared, that's centre a, b, and radius r, so our radius here will be 5. And that's all there is to it. We've found the centre and radius of the circle um, from the given equation. And that's maths. Remember to check out our website, alevelmathsrevision.com. Thanks for watching.